Diot says, most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step, but intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul, and that's why most people don't do it. But you're not most people. You're in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it's leading you. Just take the next step. No one has ever had the complete, perfect plan. There's no end destination. There's no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes, the more resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Seeing the truth in people and relationships has been successful with these lessons concluding, their energy attachments will begin untethering, so you can recover your power and confidence. Utilize the knowledge gained with your drive for covering and direct your focus forward. Revelations will continue unfolding daily, helping you eliminate what needs to go. This will support you in raising your vibrations above tribulations into five relationships. Here you'll attract like-minded people and relationships of the exact same vibration. When things seem to be difficult, a change of attitude will bring a new look at your situation. Your attitude precedes your demonstration. Look through the unpleasant condition. It can reflect a negative attitude, but it does not represent what you really are. Don't get so involved in conditions that you forget who you really are. You may drive through a dense fog, but you are not the fog. The same is true of every experience. You are spiritual mind in action. You are its perfect embodiment, but you have to know this. How can you rise above the condition and be conscious of who you really are? Through thought, pretend you are doing the best thing for you, although you do not believe it. Affirm the allness of God, even in the face of doubt. Act mentally the way you want to be, even though you feel the opposite. Every time you affirm the truth of being, something happens in your unseen world of mind. Water can be cleansed by drop after drop of pure water being applied to it. Thought purifies in the same way. Suddenly, you can be surprised to find that you actually believe wholeheartedly what you have been affirming. This is the creative principle at work. Present the truth as an affirmation, repeat the process, begin to act out your desired belief. Before you know it, and almost unwares, you find yourself expressing your desire. You no longer have to pretend. You are the thing itself. You have made your demonstration. I think it's beautiful how kind you are, how you care too much, how you give too much, how you express words of honesty in the softest, most genuine way. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.